All right, that's a good bit better. Oh, I need to do this first. This, and then this, and then go do you this. You actually might be... Oh, I don't know. It's so hard because my voice peaks and... Like, my, my voice... The top end of my voice is so high compared to the bottom end. But I don't know. What's the problem? How are you trying to solve it? I'm not. Sometimes I'm just going to be quieter than you, and sometimes I'm just going to be louder. That's how it goes. Unless I get a new uh, new pair of vocal cords. You know, I, you should sign up for that. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. That, I, feel I, like I did this, say that uh, as soon as we can turn into cyborgs, I'm doing it. That wasn't a joke. Ah, okay. You know? Yeah, I'm 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 all about it, dude. Altered carbon me up. <laughs> Make me literally a cyborg, dude. Like a literally cyborg from Teen Titans. Is that what his name was? Yeah, I I don't so much want to be like him, but yeah, I yeah. Well, I don't want to be like him, but like I feel like he's got some cool ass features. You know what I'm saying? I didn't quite like his uh, shape. His shape. Yeah, like if you're if you're gonna be a cyborg, I'd still want to be like. I don't know. I felt like he was shaped a little weird. Like, does that make sense? Like, I, w I want to be, like, slender, like, you know, fighting machine. Have you seen, I feel like um, he was a little bulky. Have you seen One Punch? Uh, One Punch Man? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. Where he has, like, the cyborg friend that whoops ass, but he's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Genos, slender? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That guy. Yeah, that's that more guy, what I want to be. That guy I don't, don't want to be the bulky guy, you know? Yeah. It just doesn't seem good for business. Being the bulky guy as a uh, as a cyborg though, you get you, you look like you whoop ass as well as whooping ass. So it's like a trade off though, because then you can't fit into small cars. Me IRL. That is true. Actually, Although enough. I think at that point, if we're cyborgs, right, they're gonna outfit cars for cyborgs. You just like slot in. I guess probably yeah. You just just yep yep. <laughs> Have you ever seen Brian Shaw try to get into a car? Ah uh, yes. First, you know who he is. It's, yeah yes. okay. It's literally fucking hilarious because when he does finally sit down and like squeeze his ass in there, the whole car goes like <laughs> screaming and crying, dude. Yeah, it's it's funny seeing strong men in uh, vehicles. Yeah, in anything human sized. Yeah, it's great. Like they try to fit into cryo machines and they're like trying to get cooled off, but <laughs> take up the whole hot tub by themselves. Like it's it's a mess. I couldn't imagine. To be fair, the cryo machines aren't that big. That's true. Yeah, that's that's what I mean, though. I feel, it's just funny. It's just funny to me. Neither are there hot tubs either. Yeah, hot tubs are just small in general. I don't. True. Anyway, hot tub, hot tub, semantic podcast stream. When? Never. Never. We could have two separate hot tubs, five feet apart. You know. Oh. My concern wasn't sharing a hot tub with you. My concern was doing it on stream. But okay. You can wear clothes. You can just get in like you are now. <laughs> just in a hot tub. Nobody said there had to be water. E even if I am in a hot tub, what? 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 That wasn't my concern either. I just don't want to do a hot tub stream. You got to spice it up, you know? Do I? Like, like what? Are you going to try and strip me naked next to get views? Like, what, where do we draw the line, Kale? Probably not. I would probably strip myself naked to get views. You feel me? Oh, don't okay, make me, okay. Don't okay. make me undo the buttons on this shirt. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Anyways. I mean, you, you, with your camera angle right now, you could. And you'd get away with could. it. I do Just get one one off real quick. You know who JB is? Of course you do. Just do a J.B. Yep. Just fucking full yep. chest hair stream, dude. Except I have one chest hair. Just like on my face. I have one facial hair. It's great. You, you could become a uh, body painter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Paint. I'd have to paint over my nipples green though, and do a green screen first, because Twitch is. They said no, 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 absolutely not. Incredible. I forgot what my question was. Oh yeah, have you ever stayed at an Airbnb? No. The strangest fucking thing I've ever done is paid money to live in somebody else's house for two days, because you go in and it's not your house, but it's not like a hotel where it's like a room and a bathroom. It's a whole fucking house with different bedrooms, different beds. And then like you feel bad for going into the different beds to be like, is this one comfy enough? And the one I slept on was not comfy enough. The shit literally felt and it, oh my God, the noise it made sounded like a fucking lawnmower. You sit down like just over and over again. It was terrible. Literally the noisiest thing I've ever seen. I, I don't know what to say about that. That doesn't it, sound enjoyable. It was not. No, neither was the fact that the bathroom sink did not, um, produce water it just like hissed one tiny little stream 
So imagine, like, imagine, like, a wasp peeing. If, if wasps could pee, it'd be like a fucking jet stream, you know? Just very, <laughs> very are, are thin. Are you okay? I feel like, no. well... <sighs> Brain damage. I, I feel like if I'm gonna... So I'm the type of person who, like, I don't travel unless I can travel in comfort. Does that make sense? Like, I'll yeah. pay, like, $200 for a hotel for one night. Like, well, just because it's nice, you know? There was an option for another, like, comfier bed uh, in a different bedroom, but they had, like, repurposed their garage, and it was concrete floors, but they had put, like, squares of carpet down, but they didn't put them, like, they didn't do anything to them. They were just carpets of square carpets that moved around and shuffled and shit. Um, and then there was also an entrance to an attic, but it was, like, super warped and fucked up. Uh, and the lighting wasn't very good, and it was terrifying, so I didn't sleep in there, because there was a door in literally all four corners of the room into different other rooms. And I'm in somebody else's house. They could very well be hiding a whole family of rats up in the attic to fucking attack me and eat me when I'm asleep. You feel me? I would have assumed axe murderer first before rats, yeah. personally. Yeah, but... that as well. And I was like, I don't want to fuck with that. I'd rather be in a room with one door that leads out of this room. But there were literally one in each corner. It was terrible. One of them led outside because it was a garage. One point. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yes, you're a human being. Yeah, yeah. That's true. If I was a fan, though, I'd, I'd, I'd probably only have the two blades. Maybe it would be four with the legs. Turn me right around. <laughs> Sir, are we ever going to start the podcast? And, yeah, I was going to say, anyways, onto the flasks. So for flask macros. You didn't do the intro. You're right. Did you? Did I, like, forget it already? Or No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I guess I guess I do the intro then. All right, semantics. Jeez, I hate my microphone. Semantics, episode five. We're going to be talking about uh, a few different topics, like flasks and macros, uh, our opinion, what we thought of other people's opinions, what we've heard about it, how we feel about it, things like that. Um, auto picking up loot for specific things, AOE loot, how far they should go or how far they shouldn't go. Um, this man's deaths in hardcore solo cell found. He is following me up by dying in hardcore solo cell found. Feels pretty bad. Uh, MTX cursors, hot hot topic right now, on Reddit. Uh, people are molding about those. Um, just some interesting builds that I've been seeing people stream and things like that. I had a lot of time to watch and consume content the last few days that I took off, and then um, just some closing thoughts about everything. Basically, is what I'm assuming it's going to be. But yeah, let's uh, commence episode five of the Semantics Podcast. Buggies, hi. Hello. Um, so with a flash macro. I personally don't use one, uh, especially as a content creator, but I probably wouldn't anyways, just because like my hand rests to hit all of the keys at once and my keyboard's not super heavy, like the keys aren't, so I can just kind of hit them all anyways. Um, but I don't think that it's, it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, I heard Ziz talking about them having, like they should make something where you can bind as many flasks to one button as you want, but I don't know if that would work because I could like, be bad for some people in some scenarios and it could get them killed and then they'd be mad at GG. There could be a lot of different problems with it, but I feel like they can come up with a solution instead of just banning people who use flash macros, especially considering the other macros that they do allow. Uh, I think it's fine. I mean, look, it's worse to use a flask macro, so if you want to use a flask macro to save your fingies, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's fair. Exactly. That's, that's what I mean. Like, if you're playing softcore, you're more than welcome to. If you're playing hardcore, you're gimping yourself. Because on softcore, you have six portals. On hardcore, you have six portals, but one portal. So it's like, yeah. do you really want to risk it by using by using a macro when uh, you don't have to? And you could just risk Carpal Tunnel instead, alternatively. That's my favorite. I don't know. Um, it's weird. Because I, I feel like flasks are too strong, which is kind of why I feel like anybody should be able to use a flask macro. But then also, like... Once you allow flask macro, it's like, okay, is this a special exception? Do we let people automate anything that they want with macros? Like, where do you draw the line at saving yeah. people from RSI? I agree. Because, like, if, if somebody is using, like, a flask macro, what's to stop them from also keybinding a different macro to press all of their vol abilities at once? Because there's a lot of builds that, like, don't have full slots. So what they do is they slot in, like, or at least for me, like, vol haste, vol grace, vol discipline you know, VRF if you're a spellcaster, things like that. Whereas, you know, flasks are, like, those are just about as powerful as flasks, if not, you know, 
if if they're not on an even playing field, you feel me? Yeah. So. I don't know. Which speaking of, they finally nerfed the uh permanent vol ability builds, which is good. Did they? Yeah. Was that the like with the um link between the six links and like the six link being counted as the one in the ring or one? Oh, I don't know how they do it. I just know everybody or most people stop doing it, which is, you know, it makes me happy. It makes you happy. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck, no fun fuck allowed. Them, <laughs> no fun, dude. This is not a game for fun. It is a grinding game. Grinding. But no, gear watching it, watching it was like watching people play standard in simulacrums with all legacy gear. Yeah, I agree. So it was like, uh, do we just pretty, allow this? Do we all play this every fun. league now? Like, what's happening? Yeah, I saw um, Crouching Tuna playing Vol Stormcall, I believe it was. Absolutely fucking annihilating everything because he had a plus five staff and an Impulsa and a Storm Riders. Or Star Storm, the gloves. To proliferate the lightning chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking crazy how strong it was because he had four charges of it using the ring. It did like a shitload more damage. He had a reduced reservation enchant on his helmet and all of those things together literally just demolished every fucking thing in full daily maps. So, I don't know. I feel like it was very, very strong, but... I think what he was talking about was uh, having the the way that it was working. There was an interaction between having Vol Storm Call in your ring and Vol Storm Call in a six link, and it would always like the Vol Storm Call would still count as the one that was in the ring, so it would get the buffs from that. So I'm wondering if they just fixed that, or if they like made Soul Catcher or whatever the flask is not work with uh, Vol Skills. I'm not sure. I, th I, I think it was a Void Forge nerf. Oh, a Void Forge. Or Hate Hate Forge. Hate Forge. Sorry. Hate Forge. What's Hate Forge? It's the new unique from Ultimatum. I have no idea what it does. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen one. Oh, God bless. All right, let's move on. Neither of us know anything about this topic. I shouldn't have brought it up. Lol. Okay. I, I um, just, I, I'm, I'm glad that other people got fucked because, I mean, it was a high investment build, so it kind of warranted it, but at the same time, it was lower investment than any other high investment that shit on the game. Yeah. So was, for a long time, it was like if you bought in early, you were just fucking rich for no reason. Yeah, banging the game for very, very. It's it was like an ore stacker without having to pay for ore stacking. Very OP. Yeah, if if you got to it early, you paid like twenty x for the entire build, and then eventually, once people picked up on it, a bunch of bit videos were made about it. It was like now it's like two hundred x, and then I'm like okay with it. But uh, at the same time, then like I don't know, you have to either let that ride out, and that's our new. Uh, new tech, new chase uniques, or uh, you say, yeah, that's too strong. Yeah, and it was too strong. Um, Auto picking up loot. I don't know how I feel like they should go about it, but I do feel like the small stacks of things still dropping instead of just in one big stack, dropping in all small stacks is kind of silly. Like Piranha's Coins. Now, yeah, they all drop in stacks of 100 or more, right? But they're still dropping in different fucking stacks at the same place. Instead of just dropping 1,500, bam, right in your face. Or um, the fact that splinters from breaches, they kind of just drop all around the circle. Instead of, like, finishing the breach and then sucking it back in and then dropping it at the hand. Just like it does when you're in Delve doing the breach nodes. That's how it always does the loot. And that makes sense to me. I don't know why they don't do that. Like, especially in the Temple of Atzoatl when you have to, like, run around all the fucking... Stairs and the walls and doorways and annoying to go around and pick up everything. Yeah, I don't necessarily want them to do that to all content because I do feel like it's kind of weird. I feel like if you do the same exact type of thing for all content, it gets a little weird. Like, yeah. um, but I do want more. I I want AOE pickup. Like, wow, has AOE loot. Um. So, like, if I click on all of, like, the coin, or if I click on a Prandis coin, it picks up all the Prandis coins. Kind of like last Epoch has was a better way to put it. Um, Within, like, a radius, you think? Well, yeah, not the entire map, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, that, like how, how big of a radius extreme. are you talking? I mean, entire screen would be perfectly reasonable, I think. Yeah, right, A I screen agree. isn't that big in-game, like... Yeah, I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's fair. Like, if you pick up one alteration, but there's 90 that you have to loot, and you're doing 100% deli, which already has shit performance, just pick up all the alterations. 
And then, no and then people will loot while they go more. It'll make Delhi feel better. Like, everything. There'll be just, less loot yeah, on the ground. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, also, why why haven't we figured out something about rendering 3D items that we don't have on our filter? There's got to be a way, man. That's what I'm wondering. I've been wondering that since I started playing. I was like, wait a minute. I was talking to the guy that was teaching me the game. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. So I have on this filter, and I'm still seeing all these random ass items that are not on my filter dropping on the ground. Is that a bug? Should that be happening? And he was like, oh, yeah, it's just part of the game. I was like, oh, that's terrible and awful. Why haven't we fixed it? Because it is causing so many performance issues for the entire game. And they said they were going to reduce drops this league. I feel like they didn't. I would prefer for a handful. Uh, I think of they definitely items. did. In my experience, and, I've just noticed it's still too overbearing. I do notice that they nerfed the Yeah, drop. no, I, it's it's still too much, but, like, there are definitely a lot of things that just show up less. And yeah. I think the total loot per map is lower. It's just I not... I don't know. There's, like, really no way around it. Just stop rendering the loot that we want to hide. Like, I, I get that that's kind of like a just-do-it forehead um, stance, but, like, at this point, yeah, just do it forehead. I would honestly prefer if they just dropped a handful of rares in every map so you didn't get 50 rare drops that you have to go and id and drop because they're all bad you got you know say five and then you id them with a chance for them to actually have good mods well the problem so, with that is is that like do you update that every league like how does that work because that's a lot of effort every league if that is how you're going to do that and you have to update it every league otherwise you're just showing a shit rares again in two leagues because you power corrupt them Maybe. I'm talking more so like life and res just for basic builds before we go into the whole unique. Yeah, but situation. if you're if you on softcore, like, fuck, I don't care, dude. I'll run boots with fucking no life, no res. Just give me the 30% MS, even well, then, if I'm not capped. Then it's up to the crafting that they still have in the game. Like, there's a ton of different ways for you to get all of those things. Yeah, but how, how, do, you adjust the the, how do you adjust which rares drop to make them the good rares or higher chance to be good rares because if you add a new influence like maven or for example all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of new mods so you keep power creeping and you keep having to adjust that every league and it's just not reasonable for a company that puts out content every three months what i mean is when you id a rare it shouldn't have a chance to have t11 stun and block recovery if there's only five dropping it should have a chance based on the content that you're doing to drop higher tier mods no matter what the mods are I shouldn't be dropping boots with well, five what life, level doing 100% deli. I, I, and, I do agree, though. They should they should raise the floor. Just, like, delete some yeah. of the possibility for the lower tiers, yeah. And that would be another thing. So, they never delete loot from the game? Like, as you, the things that drop in Act 1 will also be dropping in a level 83 map or higher. Yes, even medium Which makes flasks. no sense to me. Because that is also cluttering the ground, which makes no sense to me. I think... The only thing... <sighs> I sort of understand why they do like medium flasks because you can still quality for glass blowers. Um, but I don't know. I still think that it's silly and they should fix the amount of loot that's dropping again uh, and lower it. They don't have to do go with, uh, you know, making the, the drops better, I don't think, because uniques are powerful. Crafting is very powerful with all of the options that we have and everything. But I do think that there's still just too much to be rendered on the ground. Like you were talking about, like there's just too much when you're doing the game and it's making everything lag and feel terrible with performance. Yeah, I just don't know any way to do it other than coupling it with a person's loot filter. Yeah. Which would probably mean that they would need to integrate it into the game, similar to how Last Epoch does. Because I, I like, uh, it, it, it would get weird if you use things to edit the filter outside of the game. Uh, in order to, I mean, maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. I'm not a game developer, never mind. Yeah, same. I, I just, I feel like th there's ways that they could come up with this creatively. They've done a lot of really good changes in the past. Uh, and then they've done a lot of changes that just didn't, may do enough in the past as well. And I feel like they could come up with creative solutions to bring those changes that didn't do enough up to the ones that, you know, have done enough. Like to the point of where it, players are like, that was good. Good job. Five out of five. Uh, instead of, okay, well, you tried. You know, here's a F for effort. Like, you you did your you did your best. Yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I feel like everybody's zero or a hundred right now. Either everything's shit or everything doesn't matter. I agree. I agree. 
Um, do you want me to stream this over my camera on the VOD, this clip of you getting fucking boinked? Yeah, you can if you want, and I'll just overlay it myself. All right. Let me turn this off and then turn this on. Oh, oh, pause, pause, pause. Pause, champ. Pause, champ. Pause, pause champ. Where's it at? Where's it at? I don't know where it is. Yoinks. Oh, it's this. Pog. Uh, did that work? Probably not. Hold on. Oh, you hard fucked everything for me. Oh, you meant stream on Discord. No. Yeah, no, I, I hard fucked everything for me, yeah, too. Just, I thought just, I was going to put it, it yourself. Okay. I will. I have to switch my, my whole. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. You see, this is why it's a problem, but it's okay. I could just stream you, it here. You don't have to right. stream it. We can just say I died. You died. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got killed. You died. Yeah. Uh, to a metamorph, being overzealous, as we all do. I, I, you know, before I put those organs in, I knew it was going to happen too, which is why I'm mad. And I'm also not mad at the same time. Uh, the build did really low single target damage. The clear was kind of nice, but not great still. Um, and I mean, there was a lot of room. I didn't have like a 21 frostball. I didn't even have 20 gems. All of them were like 16. Uh, What's you your know, map was that? Five? It's okay. not high. So you, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you weren't getting your ass whooped in a red map with not not high level gems. No, 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 no. I was, um, I, I was kind of pushing my atlas in like kind of a softcore way, like run your highest map. But at the same time, it wasn't very dangerous either. So it was kind of like whatever. And then I I knew before I did the metamorph, like this is how I die. And it yep. just happened to happen. Well, there, you know, when you say that it's going to happen and it does, is that magic or what? Like what? Well, sometimes <laughs> it happens. Sometimes I outplay it, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm just being a bitch. Yeah, sometimes you get got, and that's just the way that she goes. I, I understand. I fully understand. I should have stuck to my hardcore mentality, though, of uh, even if there's a 1% chance if you die, that's a 1% chance that you die. And if you do it 100 yeah. times, then you're definitely dead. You are literally 100% dead if you... Yeah, yeah. And it's it's sticking to a hardcore mentality is so tough as a it player who, who has played games where when you die, you just resurrect and you're fine. Like, my entire life. Two decades of playing video games where if you die, you're you're fine. But then you get into PoE hardcore solo self finding and you're like, damn, this character means a lot to me, and you just get fucking schmoinked by some random ass enemy. And you're like, well, my only option is to resurrect in town, back to standard, I guess. Well, and that's partly why I wasn't too mad. I uh yeah, I didn't like the character that much. The lightning trapper, which also died, but that was to lag legitimately i paused on a trap for like five fucking seconds it hit me twice like you're gonna die yeah um which is why i after i end up moving this up this weekend i'm going back to dgen hours gaming because the lag three, 300 milli, uh 300 ms ping spikes every like 30 seconds is just way too much to play hardcore it's super fucking bad yeah it's it's not fun it's not fun yeah I have I used to uh, I used to stream on a mobile hotspot that was one and a half uh, megabytes per second upload megabytes Yikes. terrible and then I would play World of Warcraft while doing that while also raiding. Playing WoW is one thing. I did play WoW on hotspot um, yeah. at one point, but streaming but we, is with uh, the suicide. stream. Yeah, dude, it was like 150 to 200 ms all the time. It was like I was in Australia playing on American servers. It was it was awesome. I am kind of okay with that though. I played with a lot of Australians and a lot of EU players and I did play on EU for the first like 12 years. Not first 12 years. So I was 12 when I started and then pro so probably about seven years on EU. Um, a lot of my Why? childhood was spent playing with EU boys because North, look, I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? North Americans yeah. are lazy pieces of shit. Outside of the very best. Right, there is a very best, but the difference between the very best and the average is insane. And yeah. trying to wade through all of the shitters in North America is so much worse than doing it on EU. It's insane. When it comes to WoW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that's that's not my experience in every game, but I have definitely seen games where the EU players are like, you fucked up, and I'm like, I fucked up. Yeah, Whereas EU players, American take, players are like, take WoW very seriously. Yeah, and then, well, and then also, like, Americans aren't upfront about shit. They're not like, hey... You made this mistake. This is how we can fix it. That's how you boys are. Americans are like, 
this is what we can do better. It's like, no, bitch, tell me what I did wrong. What are you doing right now? Like, well, and sometimes, Lord, and sometimes the you boys are a little too harsh with it for my taste, but Agree. at the same time, so am I. So it's like, I guess it kind of works out. You fucking shitter. I do. You I, shit the bed, you piece I, 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 of shit. I don't know if you saw my rage compilation. I literally zoomed in and followed the tank around fucking screeching at him on stream one time. <laughs> Telling I'm him exactly surprised. why he was so fucking bad at the game. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Wow I'm was not... bad for my mental. Yeah, yeah. That is very fair. Very fair. Oh, man. How? So, how was your reaction when you died on on uh, on your, your totem build? Like, were you just, like, sitting there like, oh, like, just straight face, like, it happened? Or were you, like, like I was, like, just fucking O-mouthed? Uh, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, like I said, I wasn't too attached to this character. When the Lightning Trapper died to traps, which is ironic, um, I that like one did one get me <laughs> because I was very much enjoying it. Lightning yeah. Trap is so good. It's great. Yeah, isn't doesn't it shoot out like balls of lightning? Like, yeah, it shoots out big balls of lightning. It's great. Apparently, I only play builds that have balls. Fuck and it, multiples dude. I, of them: Frostbolt, Fireball, Lightning Trap. Fuck it. You know, as long as it's fun. I felt the same way. I was like, oh, I died on my Arc Totem. I, like, I, I died straight faced. I was like, cool. I can now play a different character. Thank God. Holy shit. Yeah. Get me out of here. And I did it twice. And the, you know, being, uh, being agnostic is kind of nice, but also hitting and then uh, hitting a foreboding mana flask all the time gets kind of annoying. Um, and being totems and waiting for the totems to do damage isn't always nice. And I didn't quite have the right ascendancy because I didn't have enough respect or regrets because I already used all the regrets because I got a soul mantle, five linked, uh, two soul mantles, five linked as soon as I switched to self cast. So then I had to respect <laughs> into totems. I'm losing my, my mind. Yeah. Because I started off mind. as Fire Slinger. So I went Fire Slinger into Self Cast. Then, as soon as I went into Self Cast, I got two Five Link Soul Mantles to drop. And I'm like, okay, well, I have to go I guess. Totems now. Yeah. Like, there's no fucking way, right? Because I, yep. I have one to wear and I have one to work on the Six Link. So, like, I, okay. And uh, so I went through like 60 regrets. Sorry, I'm yawning. Medication, not tired. Um,. No, he is. He's he's bored of us already. I'm Chad. so fucking bored. I hate you he so hates much. Us. Give me the it's unlocked. fuck out of here. Anyways, I want to try like funky totem builds until I realize how shitty it feels to play totems. Like it's so much fun to be like, I could play divine iron totems and Kamehameha shit from a mile away, and then it's like, well, it would kind of be ZDPS the entire time, and also I'm not that tanky. I could just go and slam and actually have a character that doesn't pass away. Yeah, I'm kind of fighting with trying to find the middle ground because I am a hipster at heart. I want to make the bad builds good and work. Yep. Um, same. Doing that on hardcore uh, is fine if you're in a trade league. Doing it on SSF, much harder. Um, so, yeah. It's very annoying. Yeah, I, uh, I, I just don't think totems feel very good. Um, I don't know. Hierophant's good uh, on paper, but then like when you're in hardcore solo so found, it's not tanky enough built in. Whereas you know, Perma Fortify or Slayer Leech or uh, you know, uh, what's the Necromancer's Aegis thing? The fucking Bone Armor. That's what it is. Um, well, Elementalist it's, with it, buff it, golems. You're like... just tanky to different things, right? So uh, Agnostic is very tanky against Degens, but against like actual physical hits, not that tanky. Yeah, and the thing is, you have to, like, you have to take that on the passive tree, not in your ascendancy, where, as a lot of other ascendancies in Hardcore Soil so found, can be quite a bit tankier and do more damage and just have more quality of life, like, built in. Like, Raider is fast and tanky, and then, you know, Slayer is fast and tanky-ish. I probably wouldn't play it. I'd probably just stick with the champion if I was going to do a list, but still, there's, there's other options that feel better, and not playing totems also just usually feels better. Uh, yeah, experience. for sure. That's also um, why, um, I, I mean, my totem build was slow as shit. I didn't, I actually didn't even have movement speed on my boots because I needed the res because I had, I chose a chest for chaos res, but then it had no actual res, or sorry, a belt, um, with chaos res on it because I wanted chaos res, so I wasn't negative to chaos, which is great in theory. But mm -hmm. then I was locked into the, 
elemental resists on my boot, uh, my boots, and I had no movement speed on them, and I couldn't roll anything that had the same resists, uh, same amount, because it was actually pretty high resist, and it had good max life, but then, like, having no movements, not having 30% movement speed feels really fucking bad. I, I will say one thing I, that I've changed my mind on now that we're talking about like high rolls. Um, when I swapped over to Hardcore Solo Cell Found on a few different characters now, ultimatums kind of bang. They kind of bang. When you're picking out like rares and you're like, holy shit, 30 MS boots with 90 res and uh, T2 life. You're like, I could sell those on Trade League, but these are actually just insane right now. My God, I will cap my res, over cap my res, and then have a shitload of life and MS. This is amazing. Amazing. Like, yeah. I, I love Having, ultimatums, and I, I run all of them. Yeah, I, I I mean, I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm saying that the gear options are, like, more versatile when you are when you don't have the resource of being able to go to a website and be like, I need these stats, and somebody's like, I have those stats. Give me your money. Like, there's no shop. You're just... Ultimatums are, like, inherently very good for rare items. Yeah, it's kind of... Um... It does give me an appreciation for trade, which is why I like doing SSF uh, every league. Because, like, being... Hello, kitty. <laughs> um, being able to go and and just get whatever item I want. Um, she farted. She farted on me. A cat farted? The cat farted on me. I didn't even know cats farted. I cats know dogs fart. fart. Cats fart. That's unluck. Continue. I'm going to die over here while I listen. Um, I, I forgot. I mean, it's kind of, you know, that kind of takes the center stage. My, my fault. Um, <laughs> I breathed in and it was all fucking methane, dude. Uh, it was terrible. Okay. I'm, I'm going to zip it and let you, you know. I, I don't, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It, it gives me an appreciation for being able to just like get whatever I want. Which I guess I isn't everybody's experience with softcore, but for me it is. Like, oh, I want this ADX precursor because it has three rolls that I want. Okay, it's like two days. Mm -hmm. I'll get it then. You know, imagine trying to farm a three passive precursor on SSF. Like, what? There's, that that there's would be the... like once a league, maybe, if that. The, I, I feel like there's like a, a graph that you could make between... Hmm. Like, ceiling for builds and the how impactful each upgrade feels so the impactfulness of each upgrade on softcore is kind of like i mean it's there you know what i mean like you notice your power goes up but you already knew that your power was going to go up whereas on hardcore solo self found or any solo self found you're like holy shit i just randomly dropped a call of the brotherhood and now i can afford to use this aura and do a shitload more damage whereas on softcore usually you can just buy it just like okay i need a need this need this call of the brotherhood and then, you know, you have it. Yeah, for sure. It makes me like both of them. And it also kind of creates a problem because if I make a build guide and the budget version is 10x, that's already too expensive for some people. And then, like, if I want it to feel good for them, it's 160x. It's like, okay, how many people are going to use that who are looking for build guides? Probably none. So what do I even do there? I don't know. But then I also don't want to make only meta build guides that are like league starters and stuff that everybody's doing because you can fucking watch anybody for that. So yeah. it's, it's kind of weird because like a lot of these uh, off meta builds require a lot of investment, but they can be really good, but they require a lot of investment. But then the type of people who are looking for builds like that are don't going to... Don't have a lot to... of invest. Exactly. So it's like, I, I don't know. I'm in a weird spot content creation wise with that. Mm -hmm. I, well, you got to you got to do the Ludwig strategy. You twist and yoink. OK, yoink and twist. You take their idea and you fucking make it yours. You know what I'm saying? I could Put do that. Fucking... But like, how different can you really make a build without just making it officially worse? Just put mines on it. Just, oh, no, no. <laughs> Just make it a mining uh, no, build. It I am matter. not. I am not going to. It, dude. No, I am not giving the entire Peewee community RSI. Power siphon mines. I don't. I don't even know if you can because it's an attack with a wand. But if you're holding a wand, maybe you can. Tornado mines. Big brain. Big brain. No. Yeah. Well, exactly. This is <laughs> making my head hurt. You know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, if you want to make content for it, I feel like anybody who wants to make content for it that's listening. You gotta, you gotta yoink and twist. Make that shit 
into something that people are like, that's hilarious, but is also functional and isn't terrible. And it's cheap. We can do this. Make an endless loop, you know, do something fun, but make it viable is, uh, is the problem. Like, it's hard to cut. You can't, like, reinvent the wheel. The wheel is already, like, a circle for maximum transportation, you know? Yeah, I don't disagree. I just, I don't know. I, I don't like the yoink and twist. Like, oh, I did five passes different. Whoa, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, well, switch the fucking ascendancy. You know what I mean? Like, do something. Switch the whole class. Who cares? Fix something. Yeah, yeah. switching do the ascendancy can work. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I, I, there's, there's a ton of different things that you can do in this game, which is one of the things that everybody loves about it. But it's also the part, the like, a really big stepping stone for people getting into the game, which is a problem. It's like lowering the player base, I feel like, but I also feel like once you actually start playing the game and you're like, holy shit, you just see like one passive on the tree and you read it and you're like, you have a fucking clairvoyant. You ever seen Charmed where the girl has these fucking visions and she's like, whoa. Yeah, that's how I the original am with Charmed had some cuties. That's true. That is very true. That is very true. That's the one I'm talking about. I haven't seen the new one. I forgot there was a new one when I was talking about it, actually, but yeah, I'm, I, I like get these like ideas whenever I read one passive on the tree that I haven't read in like fucking nineteen thousand years. I'm like, damn, that would be good for smoke pine. Make it do damage. You know what I mean? Like, have something crazy happen. Uh, I don't think smoke mine has damage on it. From I, I listen. I know smoke mine doesn't have damage, uh, but I'm, I'm saying just, like, I'm just you know, in case anybody actually. So wants our to podcast make smoke is mine called semantics. Damage. Our podcast is called semantics. Just for anybody who's wondering, um, says it at the top here, but I'm just clarifying. Uh, <laughs> fucking unbelievable, dude. Yeah, I know. I just, I feel like. Don't mind, dude. You're you going could. for that. You're going for that hit that happens when you throw it. Yeah, exactly. Or yeah, the fact that it's all, a cloud. Yeah. Make it a poison cloud. Come on, GGG. Oh boy, oh boy. Give me things. <laughs> imagine the, imagine the terrible build that I could make with that. Fucking amazing. Smoke mine totems. Let's go. Wait, can they detonate mines? No, I don't think so. That'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> Having a totem detonate smoke mine or detonate. Well, you mines? can have flame dash totems. Fucking the. <laughs> that just, is true. You can. You they know. just fucking. Maybe I'll make that as a as a meme build guide. You know, fuck it. Have have a good time. I mean, doing night prola flame dash. I I'm mm -hmm. sure it's possible. Dash. Yeah, of course. And then you know, do like efficacy for damage over time, and then yeah, fuck it. I'll figure it out. Elementalist, maybe. Maybe I do yeah, it for champion, softcore, just to though. fuck go with softcore. people. No, and go softcore. No. <laughs> Stop this. No. Maybe I do go champion go softcore. on softcore. Trade league. Big brain. I'm telling you. I mean, it would give you permanent fortify. God damn. But do my totems get it? No. Because the node only says fortify. That is literally one word. Like, it just... Just like the Raider one just says Onslaught. It doesn't say you have, it just says Onslaught. I don't know. Make something happen. Make it interesting. Make it fun. You feel me? Um yeah. MTX cursors. Lots of heat. Lots of lots of debates going on about them. On the Reddits. Everywhere. How do you feel about it? I love it, dude. Give me MTX overlays too, please. Right now. I will pay so much. But I'm saying I feel like monetizing things that don't actually have an effect on the game that people can fix outside of the game without punishment, without being banned like Yolo Mouse. Like, I, I have no problem with them monetizing it. I feel like they have an art team and people who are mad that they're not allocating resources to the right thing are just mad and they need something to be mad about. Um, I feel like they're, they're you know, ma making monetiz monetization wherever you can to make money to hopefully improve your game is probably the best course of action they can take. And if they think creating five new mouses, mice, mice cursors is going to be the way that they can do that, fuck it. They look cool. You know what I mean? They're, they function. They're cursors. It's not like you, you can't fuck it up. I agree with the overlays. I think they can make some really shit, sick shit happen with overlays. Um, different changes to the UI. You know what I mean? Like have instead of uh, the, the ladies standing around the, the orb, the orbs of health and mana, they could like, you know. Do Malachi or Piety or fucking Chris Wilson's forehead. Like, 
I don't, you know, like they Chris could do Wilson's literally. Forehead would sell. That's for that sure. would sell 100. percent Yeah, and it would be shiny and ador and adorable. Like make that, make it blue and red, but like have his forehead. You make it very Chris Wilsony. You know, it'd be great. It's uh, it's one of those things though. Like I get what people are afraid of because a lot of free to play games do eventually turn into just like a super monetization scheme, like sell them every bit of power that we can and this and that without making all of them quit at first, but then eventually they're all going to quit because they realize that this is just a mice wheel. Um, but at the same time, like who gives a fuck about a cursor? You can yeah. still download your own custom curses. You can still use YOLO mouse. As far as I know, they haven't started banning anybody for that. Nope. Um, so that's like whatever. Like, I guess if they start lot. banning people for it to protect their MTX income, then that would you can kind of get mad at them, but... That would be really fucked up. I don't think they're going to do that, though, because that would be a terrible business decision. I feel... I, I think that they understand the value of being able to be, like, not having a blank white or off-white cursor in a game that is predominantly gray for the end game. Um, that was my main problem with it, which is why I got Yolo Mouse. Got a bright pink one so that I can fucking see where I'm clicking. So I don't die. I don't like dying. It's annoying. Doesn't sound very fun. It's not. Um, I don't think that they will ban people for using Yolo Mouse. And if they do decide to do that, there will be significant backlash. Um, from there just always about is, every corner. It's, 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 a, it's a see you next Friday kind of game. You don't like this league, so you see you next league. Yeah, I guess so. But also, there are some decisions that they could make that would just kind of kill off a lot of the player base, such as banning people who use custom cursors so that they can see what they're doing in the video game. I don't, I don't think that would cause enough people to quit to make a big deal. Me neither, but the fact that it could cause any amount of traction is probably something that they would care to avoid. Maybe. Maybe oh, it's oh. worth that much money to them. Maybe that many people bought the cursor packs that look worse than the one that they gave us. Where even is it? Like, where can I find that? I'm looking in the in-game thing right now. Is it under uh, new? It's to the I right of your new. armor. Oh, the pack? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's only 100 points for all five. I thought it was 100 points per. That's good. I feel like that's totally fine. 10 bucks, five new cursors. Fuck around, make them pretty. Yeah, they look cool. I have seen them before. I was watching like YouTube videos, but I haven't been on the game until um, we started the podcast. Been been away for the last few days, so... Well, and like the thing is, is that the new one feels better to me than the old cursor. So I feel like they gave us an upgrade anyway. And it's like, okay, if you want to buy a different look, go for it, which I'm perfectly fine with. If it, if it turns into like Moo Legend, which I really, really love, love that game, but goddamn, is it pay to win? Um, you buy like cloaks and pets and all this stuff that gives you stats, like significant stats. Um, so, yeah, and, like, entries to dungeons and stuff like that, like, that's the kind of stuff, if it was, like, okay, you guys have a limit of 50 maps per day now, buy this, uh, expansion, expansion pass or, like, a refill, um, yep. like, thing, like, no, that's, that's when I would leave the game. That would be too far, yeah, I agree. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say? I do feel like that they could have just added these without having people pay for them. Um, but if they feel the need that they like for the money for their game, that's fine. I'm also, I don't have a problem with it, but having like just an in-game UI option to change the cursor around at least a little bit might be something that people would look for just in general. Um, I, I think they could have been like, sorry, we fucked this league up really bad and we shit the bed on the league start. Here's some cool cursors. Do you, do you is want? You know what I mean? I mean like, I, I don't think they shit the bed on the league, though. I don't get it. No, I think the, league the league's start. actually good. Oh, the, the league, league is great. Yeah, yeah. And the league mechanic is fucking banging. It's amazing. Uh, well, there's there's a few flaws, as with everything. They can't get it perfect for everybody. It may just be my full on opinion, and a lot of other people disagree. But there's, uh, you know. Speaking of, though, Trial Master is way too rare. Still haven't seen him. One time. Who know? Not once. Well, to be fair, you haven't been in red maps for a while. Listen, dude. So you literally just like really don't have a chance. But I've been uh, watching a friend stream, Ira, and she did like fucking 150 maps, all tier 14 plus, didn't see Trial Master once. And then like finally, eventually she saw him off stream, but. Jesus, dude. I don't know. I do feel like there should be some sort of, like I said, like how they do evasion. 
with evasion in this game. They obviously have something to do, like, the coding for it. Evasion is like, you won't get hit this many times, but at some point you will get hit. It's not luck-based, like, dodge can roll a million times and you don't get hit. It's like, at some point you're not going to evade an attack because your character is fucking... I don't know, out of breath from evading. I don't I don't know exactly what the mechanic is behind it, but they could do that with the Trial Master. Hey, you've done shit 9,000 maps and you haven't seen him? <laughs> Bang, here you go. Hit the hit the Trial Master button. Here it is. Yeah, it's it's an entropy system or a bad luck protection system, whatever you want to yeah. call it. Like even if you ran like what if there was a counter on I just thought about this. I'm a fucking nine head right now. If they put like a counter for the amount of red maps you've done, on your map device and they added it as like a, a map device thing where you could just be like i just want to go fight the trial master this is fucked up and you just activate it like you do with harbingers or you know essences or something similar to that i feel like that would be that'd be pretty neat like just as a you know guaranteed source of being able to go and fight them if you haven't seen the fight and you don't want to get lucky to fight them i i prefer something more like rise's idea where like he just starts talking mad shit so like when he finally insults your mother or something, then you know, like, shit's about to go down and you're going to fight the Trial Master. And, you know, uh, the more you win, like, you, the more angry he gets with you. Because he, he already does that in-game, right? Yeah, but I feel like it doesn't equate to anything, does it? Like, if you win 150 no, 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 in a row... No, no, it doesn't actually equate to anything, but they can make it equate yeah. to something, yeah. you know? I agree. I thought that's how it was for the longest time. I was like, damn, he's getting really pissed off right now. Like, he's being like, ha, 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 you won, bitch. I hate you. Die in a hole. It's like, oh square up you know what i mean like and then i just didn't see him and it's i don't know even when yeah, i was it, it, it would be great if it worked that way but it is what it is you know i agree i fully agree i don't know and I to be fair i think fight, a two percent chance in in this game is fine but the problem is is that without any bad luck protection or something you get those really bad streaks that are just like not enjoyable like 150 maps even if you're zooming three minutes a map dude that's a lot for a lot of people like even for people who play the game as much as i do that's still quite a bit 150 is still like a lot of maps yeah yeah like i could run 150 in a day in softcore but that's one a day for somebody who no likes the game that's like what yep. And even even exactly. then, most of the time, I don't see one a day. Well, that's that's kind of why I want like the bad luck protection thing. Like you're guaranteed to fight him at some point, and you can guarantee it on the map device if you just have time for five maps a day. And you're like, damn, let me fill out this bar real quick, go and whoop his ass. Then I finally seen the fight before the league is over because we are a month in. I don't know. I I don't want him on the map device. I think there's a lot of value in having it be. Not necessarily like super, yeah, yeah, like random and like and endemic. So like you go in, you do the mechanic, you have a chance to see him. Now, do you always see him? No. But should the chance be what it currently is? No. But like Sorry. at the same time, I don't want him just like okay, put in ten C, fight trial master. No, no, like no, no, then, no. no. You know. I'm saying well, what I meant, what what I was describing earlier. I don't want to say like you can guaranteed fight him whenever you want. I feel like there should be a bar that you fill as a separate type of like encounter. Where you can be like, okay, I've done, you know, 98 out of 100 maps. Once I hit 100 maps, I can activate and go fight the Trial Master one time. It's like a, not a reusable thing. It's like a, oh, okay. Fill up yeah, the bar, I, I would do the encounter, that, and then probably, yeah. be done. Yeah. I feel like it would be pretty cool. At least for the people who don't get lucky. You would still or... have to reset if you did randomly get lucky and find him, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's there's things they could do. But I feel like that's that's just an idea that off the top of the dome piece just came up with because, you know. Next level. Don't worry, next league he'll be uh -huh. on the sextants. You know, they put everything on sextants, and I'm sort of grateful, but I'm also annoyed because like now rolling Nemesis or rolling beyond is so fucking awful, man. Holy shit. And not that it's as important, because there's not, you know, I feel like there's no you're not using a whole lot of does not consume sextant uses, so you'll kind of just slap on packs and go. If it says monster packs, you just send that shit, but yeah, I think the only place that people are spam rerolling for Nemesis is Valdos. Yeah, for sure. Oh my goodness, man. Had to go on a rant there. Felt, felt nice. Um, Did, wait, you went on a rant? You know, about the Trial Master and shit. Maybe it wasn't a rant. Maybe I'm just out of breath because I'm out of shape as well, but we don't have Bro, to Bro, that was me that. this morning when we were loading the moving truck. I yep. am... You play video games every day long enough, bro, like, holy shit. I put, like, yep. two things in there. I was like, whoo, we're working, huh? What is this? I don't do yep. this. Yep, exactly. It's, oh, my God, dude. 
What's a what's a job, dude? I just sit here and play video games. It's send help. You know, I'm out of breath. Path of Exile. Let's go. That's my job. Good lord. Um, I saw somebody doing a lightning strike build. I don't remember who it was. I think it was also Crouching Tuna. Maybe it was Rise. It was one of the YouTubers. I was watching it a few days ago. I have never seen or used the skill because it seems like one of the starter skills when you're reading it. But it actually looks cool as hell. Like you, you Are fire you talking out about cone. Noogie? Maybe it was Noogie, yeah. You fire out like a cone of like lightning and it just like zaps over and over again. And it looks, it looks fucking sick. Yeah, but the it's... The build looks uh, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're talking but, about Noogies. Yeah. Attack speed looks amazing. I'm pretty sure it was Noogie because I just started watching a lot of a lot more of his content. Um, and it's it's amazing. I don't know. I thought something like that would be really cool. Um, to have like, is there a Vol version of it? I don't think there is. Like Vol Lightning Strike? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Imagine it's set like. Also, I think you know, he's Wild Strike. I don't know. I don't remember. I know somebody was doing Lightning Strike and it zaps. Maybe it wasn't called Lightning Strike. You're making me doubt myself. Let me Google this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm doubting myself here. It's got to be a thing. I'm going to lose my mind, dude. But he was playing a um like an attack speed based build. So it just like, oh, maybe it was Wild Strike. No, yeah, and then you just strike. have like multi strike and then you just attack so fast that like every every pack that you run into, you end up getting the lightning version that just like shoots out lightning yeah. across the ground. Yeah, it is indeed lightning strike and there is indeed a vol version. Oh, OK, cool. But it goes like and just like fires and it's it's like sequenced. It's not like it, it's not like power siphon where they all go at once. It goes here and this one fires. Oh, and then this I one don't fires, like sequenced. And, it, and then this one fires. Well, it's very fast, especially oh, when you're okay, scaling okay. attack speed. It like fucking sweeps. Just over and over again every time you attack. It looks so fucking sick, man. I love that gotcha, build. I want gotcha. to try it at some point this league because it like it there's very few abilities in this game that are like, God damn, that's a good ability and it looks fun. You know, like Earthquake. It looks cool. You're like, damn, that, that looks cool, but it looks a little slow. Or this looks like this has this problem. But lightning strike, I'm like shit, giving it the eyes emoji, you know? I gotta try this out at some point. Looks amazing. But yeah, they're they're doing like attack speed scaling as a slayer and getting the leech. And I don't even know, man. There was just a bunch of crazy shit happening with it. But it was very nice. Very good. Very good indeed. I'm going to um, stick to my traps that were made in 2002. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? Um, another build that I was watching. Again, Kobe Black Mamba. He was playing um, like Winter Orb or something for his Aura Stacker. He has now swapped to Penance Brand. Which is an amazing ability, by the way. If you haven't played it, play it. Um, I can't play up. it after playing it with a support. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, it feels way worse without being a, like stacking up all of your uh oh, your own auras. Like it's terrible. Delving on it is very fun though, I will say, because you off screen the shit out of everything Delving and everything's Omega frozen. Lull. Omega Lull, dead, De dead thing. De well, I mean, yeah. to be fair, you can still make currency. You just go horizontally at like three hundred or something, which but is boring as. F it's uh yeah. Ugh. fuck that. But yeah, um, he was playing a penance brand aura stacker. And it was kind of banging, but like it didn't look like it felt as smooth because he still had to use Frostwall in softcore without delving because he was just in danger all the time because of the way that he was building it, even as an aura stacker. Uh, no, thank you, sir. I didn't even need that on my Stormbrand, sir. That's true. I just, it looked fun. I don't know. Something about it. I don't, it, it looked suboptimal compared to, you know, EK uh, aura stacker, which is just very strong due to the implicit scaling yeah, of EK. Yeah, Nova is super good. Very, very, very good. Um, and then Spark is also okay. It's not very good at bossing. Um, Penance Brand is obviously going to be a very good bosser as Aura Stacking, but he was doing um, Inscribed Ultimatums for profit. He was doing like the 8X ones and getting 16 back. And it looked like it didn't feel that great because there was just always so many monsters coming in waves like it's left for fucking dead. I don't know. It didn't seem that great. Well, the 8X is also supposed to be really hard, right? So it is, I mean, it is definitely. I just mean in, in comparison to the other builds that I've watched him play, do the same thing as an aura stacker. Um, maybe it was brand new, I didn't get a whole bunch of time to watch it, but I did see that he was playing Penance Brand aura stacker and I watched it for like 10 minutes. I didn't like get a I didn't import his POB and check out like what he could fix or anything. I was just like, damn, this does not look like it feels as good as Spark was because he was playing Spark, he was playing Winter Orb, which doesn't feel good. I don't know why he would ever play Winter Orb. Um, I don't know. A lot of people are loving Winter Orb right now for mapping. It's supposedly well, he was, really fast. He wasn't using, like, Spell Echo or Greater Spell Echo where it creates a big-ass AoE. He was using one Winter Orb, and it just sat on the ground and did damage, and then he would place it, and it would just sit on... I don't know. It doesn't look very very good to me. 
Not a vibe. Gotcha. Was that all our topics, by the way? Or are we already out? Are we just I guess we are. For five minutes, Pepe hands. We could. I mean, we're at fifty-three minutes right now. You feel me? Yeah, um, we have to stall. We have to stall. Oh no! Shit! I wasn't prepared for this. Um, how close are you to moving? We can just talk about real life now. Fuck it. Well, it uh, could have been tomorrow. We're doing a partial move multiple times to make things less stressful. You do not sound convinced about that less stressful part, I my mean, dude. I mean, listen, it's, oh, it's less shit. stressful for them. For me, I would be in and out one day. Uh, you know, sucks ass for that day, but at least you got it done. For yeah. me, now it's like, okay, now I have to be on a normie person schedule for two weeks, three weeks. Then I have to do this thing on the weekend only, but then the internet sucks during the middle of the day, so I still have to suffer through that. But then my internet's finally good by the time that I'm tired. Yep. So yeah, you gotta anyway, go back to TLD non normie <laughs> schedule. So yeah, what I'm gonna be doing now, um, because I tried a week of this and this is not happening, is I'm going to go back to DGen hours after tonight, um, which I'm I'm like putting up with a really bad headache right now to try and like stay up, but uh, it's okay. Um, gonna go back to DGen hours and then. Uh, back to streaming, like, starting at, like, 8 p.m. or something, maybe later. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Those late-night streams. Yeah. And then uh, I'll, yeah, every Friday or something, I'll just fix my sleep schedule by, like, waking up early or something. I'll figure that out at that point. But there's no way yeah. that I can go all week and make zero progress and die to traps in normal lab and, and all this other stuff and still Isn't do so anything fun? in life. I mean, I wouldn't have died if I could control my character. That's facts. That's facts. Especially in normal I, I even lab. tried like the logging. The forgetting. logging didn't save it. Naturally. Because the lag. Great. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? I hate it, dude. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, When are I you moving? So. Are you moving to Florida at some point? I am. My brother, I actually, that's what I spent the last few days doing. I was hanging out with my brother for the first time in like a couple years. He's been in Japan, deployed over there. Did you so tell he him he's visit. a little bitch ass? No, uh, cause he's cool. He's not a bitch ass. Oh, okay. I did okay. call him a slut a lot though. That's that's my thing for him. He's a slut. He's not a slut, but he's he's a slut. You know what I mean? Like as a brother, he's a slut. Um, we fixed my car. My car's been having like a lot of problems with the battery, the oil, the tires, everything. Called up this dude named um, his name was Josh. At 10 p.m., he's like a on the road mechanic, and he was like, "Fuck it, yeah, I'll come fix your car." I was like, shit, bro. And he brought like an air compressor for the tires, an oil pan, and he brought it all at 10 at night. And then we ordered pizza. It was great. We got That's shit a bit based. extra. I wouldn't be doing shit at 10 p.m. at night. Well, Me actually, neither, I will be because I'm a D-Gen now. So maybe he's just a D-Gen. He, well, he owns his own business and money's money. And he made like 140 bucks to fix a bunch of shit on my car in like half an hour. I would do it. Fuck it. I would travel for 30 minutes to make 140 bucks in the other 30 minutes. That's 140 bucks in an hour. Holy shit, dude. And it was basic shit. We just didn't have an air compressor. We didn't have an oil pan. And we couldn't, like, we didn't have the tools available for what, what he was going to be doing anyways. So, but get yeah, that bread. You, you know what I mean? Your, like, your other option is just break the law, which, I mean, you know, be good at it if you're going to do it. That's facts. Didn't want to do that, though. I, I don't support cat. breaking the law, but if you're going to do it, at least be good at it. Okay? Don't yeah, get caught. Exactly. Exactly. There was, oh, dude, I just remembered. I'm going to get back to this cat that was in my engine. But it, this is, let me go back real quick. We stopped at this um, convenience store. And when we were leaving, we noticed that it, the, the guy was, uh, it was an Indian storekeeper. And he was like very serious. We walked in and we're all like friendly and laughing and like having a good time while we walk in. Because we were all just hanging out. And he's like staring at us like we're, we're going to fucking steal. You know what I mean? And then we, you know, we buy all of our stuff and we leave. And we notice on his window, you know how they have like the windows so they can see outside. He has pictures black and white pictures of people that have stolen and said I am a thief and not allowed in the store and fucking he gave their selfies just fucking plastered all over this wall and it was just a bunch of people that had stolen from him before the dude was not having their shit dude. it was great unfortunate it was, well, that, that reminds me of the one time that I worked at Dollar General and I was the manager right um mm -hmm. fucking there were these two guys bro and like they were so fucking ugh 
I, I let them get away with it and acted like I didn't know, but, like, I could literally hear them talking about stealing the cigarettes and stuff like that. It's like, bruh. Bruh. Talk about it before you get here or something. What the fuck? I can... You're not even talking about it quietly. Yeah, exactly. Like, Just I'm stocking shelves volume. three rows down and I can hear... I, are you yelling it? I don't get it. Do you want to get caught? Yeah. Are you so poor that you need to go to jail or something? I don't yep. get it, man. Free, free food, free roof, water, you know? Fuck it. Might as well. I, I don't the think they were though, because what are, it, the one guy said hit the other guy and said, "Don't talk about it in front of the manager." You retarded. And it's like you both. You're both retarded. Yeah, both of you have brain damage right now. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I, I kind of just let time. people get away with it though, because I didn't like working there and I didn't like my boss. So it was like I, unless I directly see you by accident, do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. We um. We went outside to fix my car the first time, and there was a lady out there standing, and she was like, I think there's a cat in your car. And I was like, yeah, he hangs out under the hood. We found this out a couple days ago. And then my brother and I were working on my car, and the lady was there for, like, the next half hour, wondering, like, I'm just sitting there wondering, like, she's just looking for the cat the whole time while we're fucking with the battery and the terminals. We're replacing the terminals for the battery and things like that. Half an hour, though? That's like 10 minutes, and then, okay, he's there, he's not the there. The cat's there. The cat is there. We oh. know he's there because he's screaming. The cat is literally going... Wait, you just grab it, then? Oh. What? You can't. There's... there's. My car is old, so there's not, like, compacted... Oh, okay, okay. It's got a lot... It's, a two, it's from You poke it with a stick, then? I did. We tried. Uh, it was hiding. It didn't want to be poked with a stick, and it was, like, under... It was in a really, really weird area... And this lady just wouldn't leave. And she was just like having casual conversation in front of my house while I was fixing my car. I've never met her before in my life. She was one of the neighbors, apparently. I don't know where she was lives. Was it her cat, maybe? Question no, mark? it was it was so so I actually know which kitten it is, and I know which cat had this kitten. It was a it was a it was it wasn't a baby kitten. It was old enough to fucking scream its meows. But it this mother cat, like a month ago, had kittens on the side of my house. And it's one of her kittens. And I saw the mother cat recently. Today, actually, and yesterday and the day before. And she's just chilling out outside of my house. And the cats are just chilling in the fucking hood of the cars. I do not understand. Cars move and heat up. I don't know, dude. Yeah, that, well, they do it because they're hot, right? And they like warm places. But yeah. Yeah. We Well, we finally got it out. And then it got back up in there. And we did that like four times because we were starting the car and fixing it and turning it off and we didn't want it to get caught in a fucking belt. Right, and you have just that kill problem. it at that point. Ugh, lol. You're hilarious. Natural, no. It's natural slash shit. If they keep doing it's like that fish. I'm not going like, to catch it. a release I'm fish where the guy fucking tried to release the fish five times. It kept swimming back on land. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you. It's like, fuck it, dude. I don't care yeah. anymore. Die. That's it's like, it, it, it's, you know, I'm not into abusing animals, but like at some point it's just stupid. The funny thing about it is it, we finally got it out of my car and swept it out. I had like a really long stick and I swept it out from under my car. I didn't fucking thwack it, but I was like scooching it along and it ran out from under my car, under my grandfather's car and got up in his fucking engine bay. And I'm oh, like, oh no, you dumb he just slut. picked a different car. Yes. And now it's screaming under the hood of his car and everybody's thinking it's stuck. Our neighbors are all like, there's a cat in there. I'm like, yeah, he's a dumbass. He'll move like I or he won't. And if he doesn't. Well, I don't want to talk about what happens if he doesn't move, but, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a bad day. That um is just over an hour, by the way, for the podcast. Poggies, I have a headache. Bye. Love all of uh, you. Do the have outro. Have a wonderful night, my dude. Yeah, so that was episode five, Semantics Podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Beanies Bro POE on YouTube. Beanies Bro YT on Twitch. Streams on both. He's a bad bitch. Catch him on either, whichever your preferred method is. Um... I'm streaming these every week. Twitch.tv slash Caligoose. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see y'all later. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging. It was nice talking with you, Beanies. Another episode accomplished. But yeah, I will see you later, my dude. All right, see you.